The electric vehicle segment has been gaining ground steadily in India, with more and more citizens opting for green commutes over the polluting diesel and petrol variants. According to the industry estimates, between 2021 and 22, retail EV sales increased in the country by three times. The central government, moreover, intends to push for EV sales penetration by 30% for private cars, 70% for commercial vehicles, 40% for buses and 80% for two- and three-wheelers by 2030. Electric vehicles in the market today are powered by batteries that use lithium and alkali metal. A vehicle powered by lithium-ion batteries has proven to give zero tail-end emission. These batteries are enclosed in plastic or metal cases and comprise other metals and organic electrolytes along with lithium salts and polymer separators. Typically, a battery reaches its end of life in five to seven years, after which it needs to be replaced. Once they are at near or end of life, they are typically discarded into landfills. What's problematic is that these batteries contain highly toxic chemicals and when discarded unscientifically, they can re-enter the environment through soil and water. We produce about 50,000 tons of lithium-ion waste in the country. Very little of it actually gets recycled. It's only now with EVs coming into the picture and uh, the government setting up these recycling rules, battery waste management rules, we had one set of rules which was released in 2020. Now we have the next set of rules that is coming out. We are likely to get into action. There's very little that is happening at the moment, actually. Moshami Mohanty from the Center for Science and Environment predicts that lithium-ion battery waste in India is expected to nearly reach 100,000 tons by 2030. Such a huge quantum of waste needs proper management. Recognizing this problem, a Noida-based e-waste recycling company, Atero, has a solution to offer. A chance to not just refurbish lithium-ion batteries, but also extract metals from discarded ones. Batteries that are used in electric vehicles typically last for three to four years, right? And when they get to an 80% charging efficiency, those batteries are no longer usable in electric vehicles. And they're typically used in second life applications like an e-rickshaw or storage, uh, either an inverter or other forms of energy storage. These applications, the battery has a life of roughly around one year. Post that, they come back to us for recycling. Once the second life lithium ion batteries are used up, they go for recycling through which metals like nickel, cobalt, aluminium and copper end up getting extracted in their purest form with reportedly more than 98% efficiency. Since 2019, Atero has estimatedly recycled about 3,500 metric tons of lithium-ion battery waste at its recycling plant in Uttarakhand's Roorkee. The cells goes into the shredder, they are shredded properly, then the black mass, we, what we do is the black powder inside the battery is called as black mass. We separate that from the casing of the battery. And then that black mass refining process is a further process. We are using different hydrometal energy and electrometallurgy techniques to extract metals like cobalt metal sheet, nickel metal sheet, manganese dioxide flakes, powder, uh, then uh, graphite powder, copper powder and uh, lithium carbonate again in the powder form. So these are all the metals and even uh, now recently we are doing uh, titanium dioxide powder as well. So in all these form we are extracting these all metals and all of these metals are battery grade materials can be reused to manufacture the batteries again thereby contributing a lot to the sustainability part. In addition to creating a circular economy, the extraction of these metals also reduces the burden to mine more of them. Extracting metals, in particular rare ones like cobalt, nickel or lithium, from virgin mines takes a huge toll on the environment. Extracting one ton of lithium using traditional methods, for instance, requires more than 50,000 gallons of water. Mining it involves pumping this water into salt beds in order to collect minerals and salt which once transported to the surface, sits on vast areas of land for about a year, waiting for evaporation. Land that originally belonged to wildlife is thereby rendered out of bounds for these animals.
we call our recycling process urban mining because we extract the same metals that come from the mine but we actually don't physically dig up the earth. We are taking waste that is generated by consumers and industries. We are recycling them using patented technologies developed by us and extracting the same metals which then are used back in the industry. Globally, many companies like Atero are recycling lithium-ion batteries. However, the quantum of batteries recycled currently is very small compared to the expected waste in the coming future. Battery recycling is something that the entire world is still trying to figure out. There is still, there needs to be a lot more, I think, investment into its R&D. That is one important thing. And the other thing also is that we still don't have enough volumes, no. We need huge, large volumes to be able to uh, perfect a process. And even globally, I think we are still in the, we are in the beginning stages. 29-year-old Jegam Abbas, once a daily wage labourer, has been working in the recycling plant of Atero for the past 18 months. He is part of the 200-strong workforce who have found employment in this sector. We are working here for 18 years and it feels very good. First, we were cutting oil. We were cutting oil from the oil. There were also problems with oil. And there were also problems with electric oil. उससे प्रदूषण नहीं फैलता सर, उसमें से धुआं नहीं निकलता है। पर्यावरण को बचाने के लिए मैं इलेक्ट्रिक वाहन जरूर खरीदूंगा क्योंकि उसमें ना एक तो खर्चा कम है और उसका दाम भी कम है। The Indian government has ambitious plans for the EV sector. It aims to reduce 1 billion tons of carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and has been planning incentives like free parking, registration and road tax waivers. With the expected increase in EVs, however, battery management would become crucial to truly achieving a net zero emission target. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.